So you must have seen some bots that set the voice channel status like this, and it's not just music bots, but other types of bots too. The thing is, how are they doing this? And, and I'm saying this because Discord has not documented this feature yet, nor has Discord.js. So this is a hidden feature that some people have found and some so-called developers add it to their bots, claiming that it's rare and impossible to find just to make their bot seem unique. After hearing this, I started researching on it, and within 30 minutes, I found three ways to do it. So I thought, why not share this with you guys? I'll show you the first way, which is to directly call the Discord API. So before we begin, let me tell you that this feature has not been documented by Discord, and Discord.js does not support features until they are officially documented. That's why we are using the API. Uh, but this might stop working anytime without any notice. Um, so yeah, as long as it works, you can use it, and maybe Discord will document this feature very soon. So let's get started. First, we need to define Axios here. And yes, the entire source code I'm showing you is for my music bot, which has many features and commands. Uh, I guess over 20 commands and filters. Uh, so if you want this bot, there's a link in the description to my Patreon where you can get it. Uh, again, I'm doing this in my music bot, but if you want to use this feature for something else, you can. All right. After defining Axios, make sure to install Axios by running NPM. Install Axios in your terminal. After that, this file I'm in is player start. It's an event that triggers whenever a new song is played. If I show you an index.js comma, you can see it's triggered from here, these events. We're sending them to specific files. Well, um, I won't go into too much detail, but I have a music bot series with Lava Link on my channel. You can check that out if you want to understand this better. Now, let's define two things first, the status and the voice channel ID. First, I'll write const channel id equal sign, and here you can paste your channel ID. You can copy and paste any specific ID, or if you want to get it dynamically, you can do that too. Since I want to get it dynamically, I'll use player.options.voiceid2 to get the ID of the channel where the song is playing. After that, we'll define the status. For that, I'll write const status equal sign, and here you can put the status you want to set. Uh, you can also dynamically show any information. Since I want to do it dynamically, um, I'll add an emoji here, followed by now playing and track.title comma. So this will save the currently playing song in the status. Now we'll call the API and update the status. So to call the API, we'll first use a try and catch block. So I'll set that up here in the catch block. We'll quickly handle any errors. And then in the try block, we'll proceed. Here, we'll create a const response variable and then use await. We'll use await axios dot put comma, and then we'll provide the API link, which is https colon slash slash discord dot com slash API slash v one zero slash channels, followed by the channel ID we defined earlier and voice status. After that, we'll add a comma and pass our status variable in the status field. In the headers for authorization, we'll use the bot token. Since my bot token is in the NVE file, I'm getting it from there, but you can provide it from wherever yours is stored. And that's pretty much it. Now I start the bot, go to Discord, play a song, and you can see it's setting the status. As I mentioned before, you can use this for something else as well. It's not necessary for it to be a music bot. Also, it's not necessary for the bot to join the voice channel. The bot can set the voice status without joining the voice channel. So yeah, if you like the video, please make sure to like and subscribe.